Good morning. It's going to be shoddy lighting because the sun through the trees is going to be going in and out. Sorry about that. But I don't want to be outside this morning. We had a frost warning. Came in when I was at the school yesterday, last night. And it got cold. I woke up this morning, it was 35 degrees. Cold. I want to show you guys something. My son David, my oldest, got me this walking stick. Isn't it beautiful? I can't, I, I don't know crap about how to set all this crap up, but it's really long. There's the end of it. That's freaking awesome. I love it so much. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful walking stick. Last year, I was having a really hard time last year. And I was always looking out my front door and I saw this, just the sticks leaning up against my mailbox. And I went out there and it was the most perfect shepherd's staff. I'll show it to you when I go in town soon. It was, it's the most perfect shepherd's staff I've ever seen in my life. And I have no idea where it came from. I left it there for a little bit. It was unfinished. So it looks like someone had picked it out of the woods. I say an angel brought it because staffs have significant meaning to me and I I sanded it down I sanded it down and it's just raw ready for me to put something put a coat on it it's in my son's closet so very special to me oh I got my coffee hope you can see me Good morning. Good morning. I'm feeling I'm feeling all right this morning. I slept great. I've been sleeping great ever since I started working, really. Been sleeping great. Love you. I don't know what I'm going to do before I go to work today. I'm going to spend the next three days. I wanted to tell you, I don't know if I'll put a video out tomorrow or the next day. Because I'm I'm going to be doing some rearranging my camper. I'm going to see if my mom has a, a the perfect table for me to put in here. When Ross blessed me with a camper, he has a, a long table that comes out from the wall that came from Slab City. Very beautiful. Everybody else loves it, but I want a regular little table to set at. That's what I want. And it, it drops down flat against the wall so it can still stay there. But I want a, I want a regular little tiny little table. Birds are singing to me this morning. I'm doing all right. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing awesome. I don't like to drive home. The worst thing for me is when someone is following me. I can't stand that. It drives me mad. I don't like lights behind me. It sucks. Other than someone following me on my way home. Which usually they turn off after a couple miles. I I just don't like the drive very much. Because I don't really like night driving. I'm getting used to it though. Once I get completely settled in here. I want to do something fun. I need to do something fun. My sister claims that she has big catfish in her pond. And I don't know, when you when you stock your pond, which it came fully stocked, and she said Jason stocked, that's her husband Jason, he stocked it with catfish. 
but the, the people that I've known before that stock their ponds, there would end up be, to be quite a few on the shore dead. So, which they haven't found any dead ones. So I guess that is a good sign. But no one seems to be able to catch any catfish out there. I don't know if we're just not doing a good job or what the deal is, but I need to go back and fish her pond so I can catch the elusive giant catfish she says are in there. The only thing anybody's caught out of there are small bass. I'd like to catch a six pound bass is what I'd like to catch. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting settled. I'm getting settled. So good for the mind out here. Get to get out in the country. Get that mind right. You wanna know what I'm thinking about this morning? I'm thinking about spite. I'm sure everyone knows what spite is, but here's what spite is to me. Someone says something or does something to hurt you, hurt your feelings, hurt your pride, hurt you, whatever. You reach out and you strike them back. You hurt them back. Sometimes even worse, way worse than they hurt you. Usually way worse than they hurt you. My sister and I's motto when we were young, you hit me once, I'm going to hit you three times harder. And I mean, we were rough and tumble growing up. We were loving, but we, we tangled around quite a bit. There was five of us and that's just the way it was. But I can't stand spite. And if someone is spiteful to me, that's a red flag to me because I spent eight years with a man that, here's an example, here's me being pretty open, cheated on me over and over, right? So I'd kick him out of my apartment for cheating on me, and he'd go cheat on me again to hurt me 30,000 times worse than he hurt me the first time, second time, third time, whatever. Spite. Spite, you don't think, you're only thinking about your own feelings and how you feel you're not stopping for a second to understand why that person did or said something to hurt you. Maybe maybe they were justified, maybe they weren't. Maybe they're just emotional. Watch out. Don't be spiteful. I can't stand spite. Spite is very hideous to me. I refuse spite. I refuse it. God is not spiteful. He's our God of justice. Recompense. But he's not spiteful. That's what I'm thinking about this morning. I'm thinking about spite. There's a lot of spiteful people in my family. They don't really go through with it, but they're verbally spiteful. And I'm always like, how can you do that? No, I can't do that. Doesn't make me better. Not saying this to say I'm better. But I have learned better on that in that area. God says no. Don't do that. I guess that's why Jesus said, turn the other cheek and you can, you can, you can bet your A, okay? You only have so many cheeks to turn. You only have so many cheeks to turn. So, no, you're not supposed to sit there and be pounded to the ground. You know, defend yourself. Absolutely defend yourself. But there are times when you just need to, to maybe stop for a second and understand why someone is doing something. Why they're saying something. So, the other day, some lady commented on my video, blasting me out for saying the F word. I don't think she cared too much about me, me saying shit, but I said the F word. And for hours after that, I was thinking, man, yeah, there's so many ways I could verbally lay her out, even with scripture. And finally, the Lord was just speaking to me, which I'm saying something about it now, but I'm not going to say what I want to say about it. But the main thing I was talking to God about it was, you know, the main thing that I wanted to say, I won't. But 
you know, let people be who they're going to be, you know. Maybe someone else can achieve perfection on this earth. Maybe. The Bible says it's impossible or we wouldn't need Jesus. We wouldn't have needed Jesus. But also, the F word, there's several different ways you can use the F word. Understand that. I wasn't telling someone to F me, asking someone to F me. I wasn't saying F you to someone in anger. I said the mouse was a little fucker, a cute little fucker. So, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed before God saying that. Things, some words, it depends on how you're using them. There's some words, it just depends. And that's one of those words. Sometimes I say the F word. Usually I say the F word when I'm around my brother because he says it a lot. I don't use language like that in my day-to-day -day other than shit. Or I say badass a lot or something like that, but... I just don't care. And whoever watches my videos is going to find that out really, really quick. I'm not going to sit there making waves, arguing around in my comments section. I think it's just gross. I'm not going to do it. There's some channels that I watch, they make jokes out of it, and I think that's funny. I think it's cute and funny. I don't see anything wrong with that. I'll do that, but... Yeah. Hey, good coffee. Good coffee. So, when I get my extra money to get the things that I want to get and need, I'm going to figure out how to fix my, my videoing so that I can put that freaking phone back there and make videos. I can't do that. I was thinking about this morning, I was like, why don't I just zoom? I don't know. I have a lot to learn. Hey, you, Rome, I hope you can hear me. Hope you can hear me. I like it when you tell me you can't hear me because then I can adjust things. If no one tells me, I don't know. I don't know. Hope you're having an awesome day, you, Rome. Well, I suppose I better go. I think I'm gonna go in town. But I'm not gonna put a video out tomorrow. I'm just gonna spend the day in my campy. Decorating, doing some stuff. As soon as I get my extra money, everything's coming out and I'm giving it another coat of white. I'm gonna paint the cabinets white. I had lace up on them, but I'm, I'm just, I just wanna bright white cabinets. That's what I want. And I already picked out my color I'm putting a stripe on my camper. Yesterday, my brother's woman and my mom, we were throwing around some colors. And first I was going to do pink because it's adorable. But I like, my, I like my antiques and vintage too much. So mom thought red would be good. But I picked my color out. Actually, my brother's woman chose it. And I think it's going to be great gonna make me happy to look at it I'm just gonna do a, a stripe on it though I've been saying all along I gotta put my paint my pine trees on there so it's gonna be my color that I picked and then my pine tree yeah <sighs> Need someone to come hang out with me. I'm like a cat, picky. Most any one of you guys I'd hang out with any day of the week. I'm a little more cautious around women. I've got some sweethearts. Only two point something percent of my viewers are freaking women. 
women despise me. I really do. I've had a couple good, good girlfriends in South Dakota when I was younger. But generally women don't like me. I... I think maybe it's, I think, more like a man, really. I don't know what it is. I don't flirt with other women's men. I don't. I'm not like that. I have no reason to be like that to me. I'm not competitive. Never been competitive, so... I'm not sure why it is. Probably the same reason why most people don't like me. I say the stuff people think, but they don't have, they don't have the nerve to say it. <laughs> it's just... I've been that way my whole life. I gotta go. Hope this video is alright. Hope it's alright. One shot takes it. Unless I'm like one minute into the video or... 40 seconds. And I say something wrong right off the bat, then I'll just stop it. Alright, gotta go. Love you. Have a wonderful day. I'm not gonna do a video tomorrow. Unless I, unless I, you know, unless I change my mind. But I'm going to town every day. I, I got some stuff I want to do tomorrow. Hey, I'll pin a song that I've been listening to over and over this morning. My brother, my bro, I, I have a, 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 something my son hooked up for me where I can put it into my CD player in my car and hook it to my phone. And I couldn't figure out how to work it. My brother looked at it yesterday for me and he's like, you didn't have it turned up. You could turn the volume up on your phone and turn it up more. So, I'll be blasting that song all down the road. Gotta go. Take it easy.